Welcome back to the Cozy Cottage Homestead. I showed y'all a video on the last video that we were working on something. And we are definitely working on something. This is going to be the addition to our tiny little house that we call the cottage. So a while back around New Year's, people were talking about New Year's resolutions. And I don't remember if it was this past New Year's or if it was the one before. But I told them I was gonna build me an office room onto my little house just to throw something up really fast and really quick so that I have a place for all of my recording stuff and the computer, the internet, all that kind of stuff just to give me a little more room. Well, that little addition never happened. Instead, we decided to go ahead and keep saving our money and keep being frugal and doing all the things that we were wanting to do to save money not going places, not eating out, not spending a lot of money here and there, not buying new stuff, and just keep trusting in the Lord and keep saving our money so that we could go ahead and add on to our little house. So this was the other side, not the side that y'all saw me pressure wash, but I did pressure wash it. That building way off in the back right there, and um, that is a shop that's here on the homestead that we all have access to and we all share and use. Um, that was a big fig tree off to the right. It was old and um, it had broke off with one of the storms so we just let it grow back but we need to cut some more cuttings and start some little fig trees somewhere but we have so many pecan trees it's been kind of hard to know where to plant a fig tree because pecan trees are more city, acidic and they sometimes can interfere with the growth of the fig trees. Now it does still however produce a few figs, it just doesn't produce very many figs. So anyway, that'll be a little courtyard behind here where you see Mr. Bob. Where he's at over there will be an office and over here closer to the camera is going to be a larger pantry. Um, back off where you see it drop off is going to be a nice porch area for a back porch. And then the larger area here on this side is going to be the bedroom. And I'm definitely going to have a window facing out with a bench in front of it so that I can enjoy my animals. Now we did not, we were going to add a living room just to have a little living room to have company but we decided to just stick with what we had again frugal minded decided if we were living in the small amount of space that we were already living in that we were just thankful to have a separate bedroom and an office room craft room whatever you want to call it and to have a nice back porch so we can put our swimming pool back up back behind there by the back door so we went back and forth on the size of the layout for the for the slab and as you can see there's no plumbing in this so that again was keeping it a lot cheaper now the little cottage that we're in has a bathroom with a shower and a sink but no bathtub well we figured out how to do that too and tie it all into the plumbing without having to pay someone else to run plumbing or having need to need more space for a bathroom and we decided that that would work just like it did and plus I could always go right next door which is just right there at my neighbor's house and use that bathtub if I want to take a bath instead of a shower which occasionally maybe once or twice a month I go take a bath ha 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 just kidding I take a shower all the time but I only take a bath every now and then because sometimes I just simply do not feel like walking back and forth with all of my stuff and and taking a bath just depends on how I'm feeling and lately I haven't been feeling the best so I've been I had another idea for a video for this past week but I just was not feeling good I've even had to cancel a couple of doctor's appointments because of the type of medication that I am taking to help my liver 
Um, it, when I wake up, it makes me feel really, really sick. So I guess that's actually not a bad thing because I did um, confirm with my doctor because I was so sick that I couldn't even go to the couldn't even go to an appointment that was like an hour and 15 minutes away because I was extremely nauseated. But he said that was actually a good thing because my liver was doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's finally starting to get rid of some stuff in my body and starting to try to work better. Um, so anyway, this is just one of the projects that I want to show y'all. Now this is something that we have been saving for and we had planned for way 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 back so we were definitely pinching pennies saving monies and not spending money so that we could get this slab poured and add on to our little house and that's pretty much what we've been up to now before this was a slab here there was a woodshed here built onto the little what used to be called the guest house is what my son and family knows it as and we turned it into the cottage whenever um, me and my husband moved into it my dad had lived in this little cottage just as it was for about 15 years so as you know he passed in 2020 actually March 20th 2020 and um, so anyway, before that, he before he got really bad, he actually moved back to my house with me, which was another house that we have. And I had moved away for a little while and got remarried and moved back to the to the property here because it was still mine and my ex-husband's. I know people just are like, "Oh my God, did she just say that?" Yes, me and my ex-husband are like best friends. We never had no children together, um, so maybe that's why it worked out so well. I don't know, but um, we are like brothers and sisters, and we are most definitely brothers and sisters in Christ. Quite obvious, we're both obviously pretty amazing people, um, very acceptable of each other, very considerate and compassionate. You know, sometimes things just don't work out. And that's just how life goes. But we remained friends. And he seems to be fine with it. And we're fine with it. And you know everybody's got to be fine with it. Because I'm only one lady living here. And I have a husband. And I have an ex-husband that's like my brother. So, I mean, don't knock it. Because you don't know. I guess that's the best way to say it. Because it's been absolutely amazing always having someone here on the homestead um two people working two people taking care of stuff you know two different people thinking and planning instead of just one person doing all this stuff so actually if anything i think people would talk because they might be kind of quite jealous because you know we split all the bills we split everything and it just works great so we're all winning in the situation we don't see each other every day sometimes we see each other once a week sometimes we get on the kick and i do all the cooking and sometimes my neighbor does the cooking on the weekends so it just depends well i think i hear the people coming with the concrete so i'll do a little update mr bob you're gonna have to get out the way and i will bring y'all back and show y'all what the finished product looks like here in a few minutes because it's about 6.30, probably close to 7. And they said they were going to be here at around 7. And they said the first concrete truck was going to be rolling in shortly after 7 or around 7. So I can't even tell you how excited we are. Um, we've been waiting for this for about, about three years. So it's just amazing. So... For those of you that think dreams don't come true or you listen to people like the bad mouth you and say, oh, well, that'll probably never happen. And, you know, I've had a few say, yeah, she'll probably just live in the little house for the rest of her life. Well, it's kind of sad because those are the people that don't know you. People that knows me knows you can bank on it. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So they just don't know you. So just 
you have to learn to ignore people because some people just like to try to steal your thunder don't let nobody steal your thunder keep trusting in the lord keep shining your light bright keep trusting and keep believing and keep being yourself so thank y'all all for joining me today i know this was a different kind of video i appreciate all of you stopping by and visiting don't forget to leave me a friendly comment like share and subscribe if you don't mind i sure would appreciate that um so farewell homestead family friends and neighbors from the cozy cottage homestead